On Saturday, Robert Morris men's basketball took down Ohio University for the fourth straight time. The Colonials were led by junior guard Carvel Anderson. He was a perfect 10 for 10 from the floor, including hitting eight shots from beyond the arc. Um, the OU game, I don't know. It was just something, something different. It was before the game, I got a lot of shots up. I got a lot of work in, and the rim just seemed wide. Like, it just seemed like I just had a rhythm going. I had this feeling in my stomach that I was, like, crazy nervous, but it wasn't, like, a bad nervous. Like, I had a feeling that something that, that our team was going to do. We had a great opportunity, and I had a feeling that we were going to do something with that opportunity. And, and I was just ready to contribute any way possible. And, it's just, it just kind of happened. Three nights later, Anderson's magic continued when he sunk a three-point shot with four and a half seconds left to defeat Campbell 61-58. The last two possessions on both ends before that was crazy. We um we were down and uh, we needed to stop. And then it was it was big. We pressured him. I ended up getting a steal. Uh, gave it to Velton. And then I just ran my ran my wing like coach tells me to do. And uh, V being the great player he is, he made a play. He found me. Um, and we ended up going up. We went up by two, came right back down, tried to get a stop, and uh, we weren't able to do so. We let them score a basket, so it put us in a position where it's high with about, about 20 seconds left. And the play was called for Belton. The last final play was called for Belton. Um, but they, they kind of broke the play off, and he had to make a, a, a decision. And he ended up doing that, and he found Lucky. Um, and I just kept moving, and Lucky found me. and. I just, I just knew it was good once I got the ball. Because of his performance, he was named Co-NEC Player of the Week. Oh, that honor, that honor is, it feels good for me. Um, especially being a newcomer, you know, I'm still, I'm still not fresh with everything. I'm still, still learning everything. So the fact that, that my performance is being noticed is, is this shows to the hard work that I've put in, and it, it's just really, I really appreciate the the award that I'm getting and it's just a great opportunity for me. I'm very thankful. Coming up this weekend, the Colonials will look to extend their two-game win streak as they go on the road to face Hampton. We need to um, we need to do a lot of things. We need to start off with keeping the same energy we've had, keeping the same focus or details, keeping the same same kind of uh, energy that we have had the past two games. Where for some reason we get kind of up and down. Like we'll have two good, we'll have the wins we'll have, and then we'll just just stop and just think we're, we don't have to work anymore and um, it don't have to be like that. We have to keep it going and keep it consistent. That's why our number one goal is sustained effort. So if we can sustain that effort for the rest of the season, then we should be pretty good and we should be able to get this victory on Saturday.